Hi guys, this project is about handmade speedometer. I know that Chinese buy computers is very cheap, but why not? In this video series, we're going to talk about Machina M2, starting with how to program it using the Arduino IDE. And from there, we're going to use M2 to connect to your car, to look at the different CAN bus messages going back and forth, and uh, re start reverse engineering some of the uh, messages that it, it finds. And then after that, we're going to take a look at some of these inexpensive ELM 327 based dongles, along with some of the uh, software that uh, works with them on Android and iPhone and how we can program M2 to emulate the ELM327 to be able to take advantage of all this uh, software that's already out there. And then from there we're going to hook our car up to the internet using the new Digi cellular module. Thank you. We wanted a light up dance floor, but we didn't want to rent one. They're just too expensive. We came up with a design and built this prototype. Our design seemed to work. The prototype could take the weight. It looked really good too, once the LEDs were installed. Not long after that, we ordered 55 LED strips from China. We're using the 12 volt strips because they're cheaper and 12 volts is easier to work with. We also ordered a cheap power supply from China, but unsurprisingly, it wasn't very good. A teen seat 3.1 was chosen for the main driver board. With an ethernet module, it can receive the ArtNet control protocol directly from software, such as Jinx or any lighting console. Sometime around this point, we decided that the floor should all